Welcome to this web animation tutorial for foundation computing. Animation is something you can do in a simple way using PowerPoint, but to really put your message across or tell a story using a proper animation tool is really good. We're going to explore a web app called Animatron, which you can easily find through a web search. Select Animatron Studio and then go off and create an account, which you can do with your school email address as usual, and prove you're not a robot by ticking the box. Once again, confirm your email in your own inbox, making sure that you do check your junk mail folder just in case it doesn't reach your inbox. Once you're in and signed up, you'll be presented with the Start Creating uh, button in the top right, and any projects that you've already made will appear in the middle. Now, as you can see, I was very busy last year, so let's load one of my creations. Often the animation will end up loading quite small in the middle of the screen, so you can use the zoom buttons in the top right to get the workspace to the right size. So this is my animation, and it stars a certain US president taking a nice walk near the southern border. He spots a zombie approaching, uh, which he solves by building a wall. Happy with his solution, he then wanders off. Now we'll come to where I got the assets later, and I'll get rid of the extra character flying over the back. Now notice the objects making up the animation are actually stacked on the left of the timeline, okay, one above the other, and the objects that are at the top of the timeline are in the foreground, and the ones at the bottom of the timeline are at the bottom at the background. For each object, the timeline shows a blue bar, which is when the object actually exists in the animation as it progresses from left to right through time. We can drag the black marker across the timeline to scrub to the position we want. So the first part of the animation, Donald is walking to the right, and at this point in the animation, we introduce the zombie off on the right-hand side, um, just off the animated frame. A little way in, we want Donald to start walking and then wave. So this means we have to turn off the walking character and start an entirely new waving Donald character at that point in time. After a few seconds, again, we stop the waving character and then start a new walking character in the same position, finally finishing his walk towards the zombie. We make an object appear at a certain point by simply choosing the object at that point. But to tell Animatron to destroy an object at a certain time, this is done by moving the selector to the right point in the timeline and then right-clicking to bring up the context menu. If we then select Change End Action at the top and then press End in that menu, the wall, in this case, will now cease to exist from that point onwards. The app does have an undo, fortunately, so I can get the wall back. So now you've seen a demo, let's explore how to get an animation going from scratch. Let's create a project using the Animatron logo button in the top left. When we start with a blank project, first check that you're not in light mode, all right? Make sure that you're in full animation mode. You can then explore the marketplace, which contains dozens of scenarios and different characters. So I'm picking the zombie scenario, and notice that the scenarios often provide an inbuilt background. So I'm going to use that, grab that, and drop it on the timeline. I'll grab one of the human characters next and place him on the left, so he can start running um, across the screen. Now notice that he appears at the start of the animation, of course, and his life on the timeline will be infinite at this point. Next, we scrub forward to some point later in time, a point where we want him to have run across the screen, and we can then move him to that new position. Notice the dotted line shows the path of the object over that time. So we can run the animation and just check to make sure that the speed the character is running looks good. Next, we can place the zombie to chase him. So starting a little bit later on the timeline, and I'm going to drop him on um, off screen, and again, we can scrub forward to place the zombie further forward on the timeline where we want him to almost catch up with the human character. So I can then chase check that the chase animation works properly. There's no limit to what you can do. Um, you could even add things like speech bubbles to denote speech. So the purpose of this unit is to explore creating animations. First, have a play. Then explore e-safety or a social issue. Try to put together an animation that tells a story of some sort of problem in real life and its positive solution. 
Make sure that your animation is of course suitable for school, but what you choose is entirely up to you. You can then press share at the top of your animation to share your best animation with us once you've completed it. Don't forget also to spread your time between trying this new skill and also continuing to build towards bronze in your idea program. The very best of luck.